morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. Yeah, Chief. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Is anyone ever going to clean these up? Ooh, these look like wild berries. Miss hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. Then pull up a chair. <sighs> this is not this guy's first ticket. Probably won't be his last either. Upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... Uncle's in there. <sighs> He's really letting that guy have it. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We I haven't really talked tickets, about it. Expired tags. And you got caught in a handicap spot twice? <sighs> okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries. I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kind of called in sick, so Tessa's is out. What was going on with me this morning? So fucking scary. Hmm. I love the smell of this soap. God, I hope no one got hurt. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. Hey, Gregs. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. Then pull up a chair. Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He 
wants to let her in wrestling, and oh boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes you are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. I'm gonna have to tell the whole hospital what happened. So I have that cute little criminal locked up in a kennel in the back of my car, and I really kind of need to get to work. I, I'd appreciate no, it I if you could take spine, him to right? animal control. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> so, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from... God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but... I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, you're not a troublemaker.
Tyler. I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Before. This will pass. these people are gonna be like or when I'm gonna see you again we can still undo it we can tell them what really happened no way it's done that's it you're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you right of course it'll almost be like we're still together it's time to get going now come on wait chief just a sec hey uh, kids I um, went back to the house and Got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. 
What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that, but there's no shame in getting help. Please, just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later.
Tyler, are you there? Okay, guess we're still doing that. Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <clears throat> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to... Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh... What's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for it. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So, what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor, and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the... Good. Well, let's see. Should be just about... Uh-huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam, are you our father?
Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs>